Welcome to episode number nine of CPAguide.tv. My name is Brian Kessler and I'm a licensed CPA in the state of Missouri. And today I am very excited to unbox Glime CPA Review Course. So Glime and I, we've had a long history together. I personally use Glime to pass a CPA exam and without them, I can assure you, I would not be a CPA today. So in today's review, I really wanna show you the ins and outs, the pros, the cons, what I like and don't like about this review course and whether you should consider using Glime CPA Review Course as your primary uh, tool to pass in the CPA exam or if you should just keep looking. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the Glime CPA Review Team, they were nice enough to send me a full copy of their Glime CPA Review Premium version. So let's go ahead and open this box now. It's a pretty big box and they got a whole lot of tape on it. <laughs> All right, almost there. There we go, here is the CPA review course system. I'm gonna stab myself. This is a big boy. Okay, so I really like this box. It's actually pretty cool. All right. And that's nice. They send you a little uh, computer bag, so that's pretty handy. All right, some uh, packing slips. How to succeed in accounting and how to pass a CPA exam. So these are some pro tips for you to use. And then it looks like they sent all four textbooks as well. stuff out of the way and then we'll take a look at the textbooks okay so here is all four textbooks so Glam CPA review they've been doing this since 1974 so I actually personally used Glam CPA to pass a CPA exam and my dad did back in 1984 as well so it kind of runs in my family um, so with Glam their textbooks are extremely in-depth so they have a lot of examples um, a lot of uh, multiple choice questions in their textbooks and uh, their, their uh, video lectures will line up exactly with the textbooks as well. So they're very useful. I, I definitely used it um, as I was studying for the CPA exam. And um, so I highly recommend that you do the same. Um, so th let's see, this is the audit one. Uh, let's pull up financial accounting report. And so this is the big guy here. So again, I really like how much detail they go into because you can never have too much detail when it comes to studying for the CPA exam. And their lectures really break down the material in a way that's easy to understand and will help you highlight what you actually need to know and what you don't necessarily need to focus on as much. So that is basically the gist of what the premium Glime CPA review system physical textbooks look like. So let's go ahead and hop behind my computer and jump into their online course where you'll be spending the majority of your time. All right, welcome to the Glime CPA Review homepage. So this is where you'll come to purchase Glime CPA, try their demo, learn just everything you need to know about their course, who they are and what they've been doing. So let's go ahead and click the shop button. And then, so Glime CPA Review, they have two primary products. So they've got the Glime Premium CPA Review and the Glime Traditional CPA Review. So there's some key differences that you need to understand. So new for, let's see, I think this is the second year that they've had them. They have uh, live in-class type video lectures that, that they call Glime Instruct Lectures. So it's over 100 video hours of live classroom uh, type setting that's very similar to like what CPA Excel and Roger CPA Review offer. So these are not included in the traditional um, CPA review. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, with the traditional CPA review, you only get 18 months of access, which is still a, a long amount of time. Um, but with the premium, you get unlimited access until you pass. So this is a feature that I really like. Uh, you also get access to accounting experts. So this is a way for you to outsource your question. So if you don't want to spend time researching on Google or forums about a particular topic, this is a great way to save a lot of time by just sending out all your questions to Glime's accounting experts, and they'll get back to you, explain um, 
what you don't understand and hopefully it'll save you a lot of time. And then the last one is that you get uh, free shipping if you go with uh, the premium uh, course. All right, so this basically is a layout of the different products that they offer. And they also have uh, the Mega Test Bank, which can be purchased individually, and some MP3 audio lectures, which we'll cover later. But at this point, let's go ahead and log into um, the classroom, your personal classroom, as they call it. All right, so here is your personal classroom. So it includes all the products that you own of Glime CPA Reviews. So let's go ahead and take a look at FAR. Okay, so here is the dashboard. Um, so it covers all the different, all 20 modules that are covered in financial accounting reporting, uh, all the different uh, study materials and your final review and so forth. So the first step, of course, is to set up your study planner. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so let's go ahead and create a study calendar now. Let's just go ahead and create one for regulation. So let's see, today's day is January 9th. So let's go ahead and say that on April 1st, we'll be sitting on for regulation. Um, we'll be, and then you can select the days that you know you will not be able to study. So let's say for whatever reason, I don't want to study on those two Saturdays and this Wednesday. All right, and step number three is to select how many hours per day you expect to be studying. So during the week, obviously, you'll probably want to select fewer hours and so forth. All right, so this is a summary of everything that I've selected. So go ahead and click Save. All right, and then as you can see, it's all set up automatically with your fully customizable calendar. Um, whatever dates you are blacked out are marked, uh, and then your uh, homework assignments are automatically populated throughout uh, every single day and then you'll complete your final review here in the last week before you sit for the exam. So it's very customizable, very easy to use and um, I definitely recommend using the Glime study calendar. All right, so now that you understand what the study planner looks like, how to make Glime work best for you, let's go ahead and jump into a real study unit so that you'll see on the day to day what exactly you'll be doing within the Glime online review system. All right, we're back at the dashboard. So let's take a look at one of these modules now. Okay, so for each module, Glime has a three-step process that you need to complete. So the first one is to take a diagnostic multiple choice quiz. Uh, this will really assess how well you understand the material before you've even dove into the lectures and reading the text and so forth. Step number two is all about comprehension. So this is where you're going to really deep dive into what's in the textbook and you'll be using either the Glime Instruct lectures or the audio visual presentation um, or the MP3 audio lectures if you um, have purchased that option. They'll also have focus questions, uh, access to their electronic textbook known as the Knowledge Transfer Outline, and then you'll also take another multiple choice quiz over this material that you've just covered. So you'll really test yourself on everything that you've just gone over. And then the step number three is all about the application. So this will take you to what's called the Glime Mega Test Bank. So this is their online test bank that's made up of thousands of multiple choice questions that you're going to really truly test your understanding of everything that you've learned in, from the textbook and the lectures. And for each individual module, they also provide you with task-based simulations that you can attempt. Um, and it's just a good way to get an understanding of what to expect on the real exam. Um, so they also offer some additional tools um, that we'll be covering. So the simulation bank and a summary of core concepts. So this is the three-step process that you'll follow for every single module. And each section has about 20 of these uh, individual modules. All right, so now that you understand the individual study units within Glime, let's take a look at both versions of the lectures that are offered by Glime CPA Review System. So they offer um, live video in classroom type video lectures, and then they also offer PowerPoint slide type lectures that will walk you through the textbook. So depending on what your preference is, you really have two options. Personally, I would go with the in-class live uh, video lectures. I think that those flow the best and um, they, they work the best within uh, the actual textbook. So let's go ahead and take a look at both versions now. 
All right, so here is what Glime Instruct looks like. So they have a new dashboard set up. So you watch the video here and it's going to identify where in the text you need to be. Um, and it um, makes it very easy to navigate in between all the different sections within your textbook. Um, so you can also close that if you don't like. Uh, submit feedback, turn on the high quality if you have a strong internet connection line and so forth. So let's take a look at an example lecture now. Welcome to the Glime review for the FAR section of the CPA exam. Exams and even the CMA or CIA. But right here we're focusing on what? The CPA board, the FASB. The SEC enforces the principles established by the FASB gap with few exceptions and less interment are faithfully represented. So guess what? Season. All right, so as you can see, it's a mixture of uh, PowerPoint slides. They walk through example multiple choice questions, case studies, and they really do a great job of connecting the what's in the textbook with the video and really helping it become a positive learning experience. And as you can see, each video is only about 13 to uh, you know 12 minutes, uh, seven minutes here and so forth. So it, it's not like you're sitting here for three hours in a row watching one video where you're going to lose focus. You're going to be constantly switching between you know watching videos, reading your textbook, doing multiple choice questions and so forth. So they make it very interactive and help you not get bored very easily. So I really like the new setup. Um, something I do still notice is that they don't have um, their electronic textbook um, uh, side by side with the video. So you, you really do need to use your physical textbook or print out uh, their PDF um, uh, knowledge transfer outline in order to follow along with the lectures. So um, in the future, I hope that they add that feature um, because it is something that the other CPA review courses have. All right, so now let's take a look at the audio visual presentation, which is the second type of lecture that Glime CPA Review offers. All right, so this is the dashboard. Uh, you click play and you'll have your physical textbook with you and then you can follow along. Governments. The third area discusses the conceptual framework for accounting and reporting. Are the primary method of communicating to external parties information about the entity's results of operations finish a satisfactory system for accounting standard setting in the U international accounting standards board's mission so as you can see the audio visual lectures they're a whole lot more dry than having a live professor teaching you the materials going through examples multiple choice questions and so forth so this the audio visual lectures are more for people who focus better while reading through a textbook and would prefer to have this maybe on in the background or uh, just kind of following along with the PowerPoint slide. So it's not nearly as interactive and I don't feel like it's quite as efficient as the Glime Instruct. So again, it's up to you, and I, but I just wanted to let you know that both of these options are currently still available with Glime. All right, so once you've watched the lectures, gone through your study unit, watched, uh, read through your textbook, now it's time to actually do multiple choice questions. So, so let's take a look at how their questions work and what to expect uh, when you answer a question right or wrong. All right, so let's take a look at a multiple choice quiz that you would take on a daily basis from Glime CPA Review. So they provide you with all the instructions that you need and I really like Glime's attention to detail because this is about as close as you can get to the real CPA exam, the way that it's formatted, the look, the feel, everything about it. It feels like the real CPA exam, which is just great experience for you so that there's no surprises when you walk into the exam. All right, so as you go through each question in this 20 question test bank, uh, you know, they present the question, then you select your answer. You can flag the question for later, uh, use the calculator and so forth. Um, and let's see, so let's go through and answer a few questions. And as each question is answered, it will turn slightly blue so that you uh, make sure you don't miss any. Um, and we'll just do a couple more here to show you what happens after we grade it. All right, so we've got several questions answered here. I just randomly selected them. You click exit. Um, it'll let you know if you've skipped any, so obviously I'm not going to go back, but you can go back. Um, or you can save it for later if you get interrupted and have to come back later. So let's go ahead and grade now. 
and it gives you extremely valu valuable information. So, uh, you know, I only got 5% right. Uh, total time spent was one minute for this quiz. Average time per question was 11 seconds. So again, for budgeting purposes, it's very valuable to know how much time you're spending per question because the higher it is, uh, the more you need to focus on your decision-making abilities um, as you go into the real exam because it is obviously timed and the faster you can get through the questions um, and yet maintain your accuracy, the better. Okay, so once you've looked at your report, you click continue and it will take you back to your quiz and will show you what you got right and what you got wrong. And what I really like about Glime CPA's um, grading style is that it presents you with a description of why you got it incorrect. And let's see, then you can find the correct answer. Okay, so then once you find the correct one, it will tell you why it's correct as well. So, and it'll also let you know that you flagged it for review. So let's go back here and show you another feature here. So. Um, the fact that I got this wrong means that I obviously don't understand this topic. So instead of thumbing through my textbook, trying to find this particular area, Glime now automatically links you to their uh, electronic ebook. So it said, as you notice, refer to subunit 1.7. So here is a link to their PDF. So what I recommend is that you use control F and it will bring up a search bar down here. So you can type in 1.7 and then click down, whoops, there it was. So here it is, subunit 1.7. So now I know where I need to go into the text to reread over this entire area and really identify why I didn't understand the um, answer to this question and so forth. So it's very powerful, very easy to use, and it's very, very efficient. Okay, so now that you understand what Glime CPA has to offer in terms of multiple choice questions, Let's move on to the second most important thing to consider when studying for the CPA exam, and that is task-based simulations. So Glime is excellent in their simulation presentation and just the, the amount of simulations that they offer you. So let's go take a look at one just so you understand what to expect. All right, so to access simulations, you have two options. So you can do uh, the step study, study step number three and access them here, or if you have access to the mega test bank, you can also access the simulation bank here. So let's go ahead and uh, I already have a task-based simulation pulled up. So let's go to this tab, but I clicked here and it will take you to right here. So you obviously you'll get your direction. So this is very important if you're brand new to the CPA exam to take a look at, to understand what to expect. Uh, so then once you're done with the directions, then you can go to step number one. Um, and so, you know, I've filled this one out. Um, here's your research question that it gives you. So then you use the authoritative literature um, and help and so forth. And then you can click to number three. And so how you answer is just like you would see on the CPA exam. You double click um, if it'll open here and then you select one of three options and then it automatically answers for you. And um, so again, it's exactly what you'll see on the CPA exam. And I just love Glime's attention to detail because um, you know you get your spreadsheet, um, your calculator, uh, you can split it horizontally, split vertically, and so forth. So this is exactly like what you'll see on the CPA exam. All right, so once you've filled everything out, then you just click uh, Submit Testlet or click Next, whatever you wanna do. Um, obviously you can save it for later or just go ahead and grade it now. So I'll grade now. Um, and then, you know, it'll give me a warning that I didn't answer everything, but submit testlet. Okay. And then it will let me know. Um, so I got 0% right on this particular simulation, but it, um, once it's done, it will let you know how you did. Then you can go back, answer and see where you got wrong, everything wrong. Um, and so forth. So, um, again, it's a very good learning tool just because you don't want any surprises when you go into the CPA exam. And um, just running through a few simulations will really get you a head start, save you time reading directions and so forth. All right, so simulations are very, very crucial. And I really think that Glime does a great job of preparing you for, to tackle simulations on the actual CPA exam. Now, where Glime really shines is in their education technology in that they do an in-depth performance analysis. So the more questions you answer, the more questions you get right and wrong, the, the engine behind the performance anal an analysis is going to track your progress, help you identify where you're stronger and weaker, and really help you identify where you need to be spending your time 
as you prepare for the CPA exam. So let's go take a look at their performance analysis report now. All right, so to access the performance analysis, where you have to go is into the CPA test prep to the mega test bank. So once you've clicked here, it will take you to the mega bank and then you have your performance analysis. So you'll click view now. And um, so it'll let you know how you did on your previous grade report. Um, so this is just an individual quiz. Uh, you can do a summary. So this is every single unit. It will let you know your performance overall, and then you can drill down even deeper because within sub each subunit, there's you know 10, five um, uh, additional subunits. So you can really drill down and see exactly where you're struggling, um, and it will let you know your previous attempt and the last three attempts. So if you have taken the same question twice, and then on your third try, you still get it wrong, then you still know that you're struggling to understand why uh, the question is right or wrong and you should really spend nowhere to focus your time. So overall, the whole purpose of performance analysis is identifying your strengths and your weaknesses. Based on your strengths, you know what to avoid and based on your weaknesses, you know where to be spending your time. All right, so let's take a look at the performance graphs. So this is um, just another way to look at the data um, and again, it will um, populate as you answer questions. So the more questions you answer, um, the more valuable this analysis will look. And then the history is it will just let you know how many questions or quizzes you've taken and your performance and so forth. All right, so Glime also offers some additional products. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else Glime CPA Review offers that might help you uh, depending on your situation. All right, so if you are somebody who already has a CPA review course or aren't completely sold on Glime's premium or traditional CPA review course, they do offer some standalone products. So let's go ahead and click Navigate Glime CPA. So they offer um, the Mega Test Bank. So if you just need some fresh multiple choice questions, you can purchase you know, just the mega bank for say FAR or regulation. Um, you don't have to purchase the entire Glime course to get full access to the mega test bank. Um, another option for you is to invest in audio lectures. So say your current CPA review course doesn't offer MP3 uh, lectures, but you have a long commute or maybe you take the train to work this is your solution. You can study while in the car or while on the train with headphones by um, streaming or downloading um, all the lectures for financial accounting and reporting or whatever section you're currently studying for. So this is a great way to be more efficient, save time, and um, really create value out of your commuter during lunch and so forth. All right, so now that we've covered all the physical products and online content that Glime CPA Review has offered, let's take a look at their customer support. So another option, of course, is that you can head over to um, Course Help. Uh, so here is um, kind of an FAQ um, about their entire course. And then if your question isn't answered here, um, then of course you can um, contact Glime. So with contacting Glime, you can ask Dr. Glime himself and either he or somebody on his accounting team will get back to you. Um, you can sh send your message here. So regarding accounting products and so forth. So they provide you with a lot of different options to get support and um, uh, again, uh, you know, customer support is very important because you don't have time to do unnecessary research because Google and all the different accounting forums, they're very inefficient and sometimes you won't get the correct answer. So it's very important that if you're struggling with something, spinning your wheels, that you have somebody to reach out to and that they'll actually get back to you with the correct response. So, um, you know, think of it this way, the access to accounting experts is going to save you a lot of time in the long run because you will have questions and if you don't have anybody to go to, then you're just going to sit there and spin your wheels and you'll likely get that uh, particular answer wrong on the CPA exam. So again, customer support, very important when considering a CPA review course. All right, guys, so we've done it. We've covered everything that Glime CPA review has to offer you for the CPA exam. So let's go ahead and do a high level analysis 
do some pros and cons, and really determine whether Glime CPA Review is the best CPA review course for you. All right, so let's discuss who Glime CPA Review is for. So Glime CPA Review, they've been a top CPA review course since 1974. So they've been around for a long time and they've been continually upgrading their course and um, adapting it for all the changes that occur during the CPA exam. So I really believe, truly believe that Glime CPA Review is the best review course for CPA candidates who prefer to self-study. I consider myself a self-studier and without Glime CPA Review, I would definitely not be a CPA today. So I know that it works for students who are self-studiers. But with the introduction of Glime Instruct, I do know also that Glime CPA Review will also be working a course that visual learners um, who need more structure um, around their course will also really enjoy using. So again, I really think that almost every single CPA candidate would do well using Glime CPA Review. Now let's jump into the pros that I found with Glime CPA. So, uh, you know, it, it has some of the best performance analysis and simulation wizards that I've seen in the industry. So they really help you identify your strengths and your weaknesses, which is huge. They also offer the most expansive study materials that are more than enough to help you prepare to sit for the CPA exam. Um, they have a built-in study planner that's really designed to help you stay on schedule. Uh, they have over 10,000 questions and simulations. Um, they also assign you um, a personal counselor um, to assist you on your CPA exam journey. And they also provide you with that access until you pass guarantee if you go with the premium um, Glime CPA review course. All right, so some of the cons that I did find is that their video lecture um, dashboard is not quite as advanced as other CPA review courses. So the only option you have is to watch the video. Um, hopefully in the future, they add an extra sidebar that will allow you to follow along using their um, e-text or virtual textbook. Um, but that, that feature is not currently available. Uh, the Glime materials are also extremely extensive and it can feel overwhelming um, sometimes. So um, it, it's very important that you use their performance analysis to identify your strengths and weaknesses so that you're not focusing on too much information at once and really only focus on where you're scoring weaker and so forth. So um, it can be a little bit of trial and error using the performance analysis to really hone this in, um, but it can be done. And also as of January uh, 10 of 2016, Glime CPA Review also does not offer any flashcards yet. So I do believe this, this is a future project, but um, they have not given me a release date yet. All right, so what's the next step? Well, if you are interested in learning more about Glime CPA, then you absolutely need to try their free trial. It will really give you a taste for everything that they have to offer and really um, help um, uh, set the tone for what their course is all about before you purchase. So click the button above or below. This video is going to be posted in multiple areas. So depending where you are, like if it's on YouTube, it'll be in the description. If you're on my website, it should be below you or above you. Um, and if you're on iTunes watching this, please head over to cpaexamguide.com and you can find my written review there and also this video. All right. So um, if you want to be sure you're making the right decision on your CPA review course purchasing, please text CPA review to 33444 and I will email you my proven seven steps to picking the best CPA review course for you cheat sheet. So this is going to be a foolproof cheat sheet for you to use to make sure that you're spending your money on the right CPA review course and not going with the course that is going to be inefficient for you and not help you pass the CPA exam. So that is having the right CPA exam uh, a review course is crucial to your success. So thank you again for watching. I really hope that you found this useful and um, thanks again for watching.